the wicked through the pride of his countenance will not seek after God. Wow, when I read that, I'm just blown away. The wicked through the pride of his countenance will not seek after God. It says this, that God is not in all his thoughts. His ways are always grievous. Thy judgments are far above out of his sight. As for all his enemies, he puffeth at them. He hath said in his heart, I shall not be moved, for I shall never be in adversity. His mouth is full of cursing and deceit and fraud. Under his tongue is mischief and vanity. The ungodly live a life that is so proud and is so self-confident that they will never get caught. They will never be in adversity. They're not going to be moved. They don't need to trust God. They trust themselves and their wicked ways so much that there is an arrogance about them. That they become proud about who they are in light of who God is and they don't need God after all. They can do this by themselves. The ungodly way of living is a horrible way of living and it's littered with all sorts of doubt and suspicion. The wicked flee when no man pursue it. They don't have the peace that we have. They don't have boldness in the courage. They don't have gladness and they don't have joy for their journey. There is a way of the ungodly that is not the better life. The better life is a life free from being a prisoner to a guilty conscience. Mm -hmm.